Have you ever been indecisive on what turkey mouth call to use? Well, today I'm here to help. Every year it seems like I'm buying more and more new turkey calls, mouth calls, and what I've got here is the ghost cut calls. All of these are ghost cut calls. Nine different brands, 11 different calls. So two of the brands are the same brand. They just make two different styles of the ghost cut. Ghost cut has always been my go-to call for the main reason that you can get so many different variations out of a ghost cut versus uh, you know some of your bat wings and stuff like that. It's a lot harder to do your kiki runs and things of that nature. For the all around, the ghost cut has always been my favorite. So trying to find who makes the best ghost cut call has always been something I've always wanted to do. And so today we're gonna accomplish that. And if you guys have any other brands of ghost cuts that you want me to try, I'm more than happy to get those. But these are all ones that I've bought. I will put links in the description for you guys. And we're gonna sort these out from best to worst. And I'm just gonna do some series of different calls quick. I've had each disclaimer, I've had each one of these calls in my mouth for probably six to eight minutes each and really got them, you know, where they actually are gonna call good, broke in a little bit, and I'm real excited about trying these out. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna do a process of elimination based on what I think, but I also wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment in the comment section and let me know which one you guys thought sounded the best. And most of these are all the same as far as the ghost cut, but there are a couple different cuts of ghost cut on two of these calls. So we're gonna hop right into it and I'm gonna randomly pick one of these calls here and I'm gonna start with a, I'm, I'm gonna start with one that I've always used in the past. And this is the Woodhaven Toxic Orange Ghost Cut Call. This one I've been using for the last two or three years. So we're gonna start with this one and see how it sounds. So how I'm gonna start this out is I'm gonna do some calls towards the camera and I'm going to do some calls away from the camera just in case the sound gets muffled or mixed up facing directly at the camera versus away from the camera. And I'm just going to do some clucks, some yelps, kiki runs, maybe some purrs, and we'll go from there. So this ghost cut is like the majority of them. Uh, it's a pretty narrow ghost cut, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Now away from the camera. Next up, I've got the zinc mouth call, ghost cut, very similar cut, so we'll see how it sounds. First facing the camera, then away from the camera. Okay, next up we've got the Primo's Ghost Cut. And right off the bat I can tell you this, it is a lot flimsier made of a call. The reeds aren't near as stiff, so it's probably gonna be a little easier to blow. Longevity of this call is probably not gonna be as good as some of the others, but let's test out the sound.
Next up, we've got the grind. Next step, I am going to grab this Casper, and this is made by Phelps Game Calls. Right off the bat, once again, like the Primos, it's softer. Worry about longevity. It feels, but they feel better in the mouth. The softer ones, they they seem to form better to your mouth, but they just don't last that long. But we're going to give it a shot. Next up on the list, I'm grabbing another Woodhaven. This is one of the two. I think this is the Ninja series. Black. It's got the green latex on top. Should have said too, this one feels flimsier than the other Woodhaven. The tape doesn't seem near as stiff, so it forms better. And this one seems like it was really clean. Not sure how it sounded on camera, but. Okay, the next up is ESH Custom Calls. Blue tape. Feels pretty good. A little bit flimsier, not too bad. Not as bad as some of those. Give her a shot. Ghost cut looks pretty much the same as the others. Next up is Power Calls Ghost Cut. Now this one, the Ghost Cut, it's a little wider. It does look a little different from the majority of them. 
and it says on the box that it's more for a mid-range sounding call <clears throat> so this one we're going to give a shot now but remember this is a little bit different of a ghost cut and it is meant for more for your mid-range sound not being super loud Next one is made by Deception Sense. Now we're down to our final two, and these final two are 40, made by 4610, and each one of them is a little different. This one is supposed to be easier to use. It's got a little bit different cut on it. It's got a couple snake bite cuts on the side of the ghost cut, so I know it's going to sound different, and it's probably going to be very hard to try to do a kiki run on, but let's give it a shot. Kiki run, probably not gonna work. bit different trying to do the kiki run on it but still did sound all right and here is our last contender the 4610 yellow tape feels solid this ghost cut is just like normal like the rest of them pretty much so let's give this one a run
Okay guys, we went over all the different calls, all 11 of them, nine different brands, and I have picked out my top three favorite calls. And I'll tell you my least favorite here in a second. The 4610 Ghost Cut was probably my favorite overall on the all around for especially the getting out there making those loud noises and cutting. It's just got a little bit more of a rasp to it. To my ears, that's what I feel like sounds the best. But maybe when I watch this back on video, I'll change my mind. Uh, the Woodhaven Toxic Orange, what I've used for the last couple of years, did a great job. I put it probably my third favorite, honestly. Second favorite, and could be close tied to the first place, is made by Power Calls. And it's the one that's got a little bit wider of the ghost cut and it's more of a mid-range sound but I'll tell you what the cutting on it seems super clean the yelps seem nice and raspy like I like them and it's really easy to to blow it does a really good job you don't have to press really hard to get those loud noises it it really does a great job so I'd say between the power calls and the 4610 those are my two favorite least favorite call I've got three calls here that I would not even put in my vest, um, and that's the ESH blue call. Do not like how it sounds. It's it just has a different sound to it that I don't like, and it doesn't run real easy like a lot of the other ones did. The next one, the next one that I really didn't care for, and it was not easy to run, was made by Deception Sense. Uh, just not a real big fan of that call. Just didn't run real good. Didn't really like the sounds I got out of it. And that one probably won't go in my vest. The next one is probably going to be this Primo's Ghost Cut. I don't really care for. It's super flimsy. It does contour to your mouth, to the roof of your mouth really well. But I just feel like it's not going to last for one. And for two, it sounds too clean to me. It doesn't have enough rasp in it for me. So those three are the ones that will not make it to my vest. Uh, obviously my top three will, and I, I would say there's probably a couple more that'll end up in there out of, out of the others. So let me know what you guys think, which one sounded the best. And if there's a different one you want me to try out, let me know, I will buy it. If you haven't already, check out our website at teamradical.com. Go to shop and check out all of our cool gear we've got. We've got some t-shirts, hats, hoodies, beanies, a little bit of everything for everyone. We really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you here again on the next episode.